Hello and welcome to Hops and Bros. This week, Stoner Chris here to talk to you guys about what, Max? About cannabis and beer. Oh. For an open window on the travel world, Max and Chris from Hops and Bros. Welcome to Hops and Bros. Alright, so as most of you know, the Canadian government have uh, has moved to legalize marijuana, which means that a lot of things are going to change. Yeah. Uh, and one thing that we've seen more and more is the use of cannabis in, in different things, and more particularly in beer. Now, it's been done in Colorado for a while. Um, naturally, only the state legalized it, not the whole country, so there was a bit of, of, um, of pushback from the federal government on that. Now in Canada, I feel like things are going to be a little different considering that it's the government that's making it legal everywhere. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure like how the, the full law will like uh, unreveal itself like over the country. I know that it's going to be uh, like uh, different variations depending on the province at the same time. <coughs> and also, it haven't been stated quite clearly what it's going to happen with edibles, which beer and weed together, like brewing a weed beer, will uh, transform the product, which is beer or alcohol, into uh, uh, marijuana edible instead. So I'm so, really curious uh, of how it, it's going to turn out, yeah. So yeah, the Canadian government uh, legalized it everywhere, but left it to the provinces to enact their way of, of making it legal. So what stores and what's going to be uh, acceptable and not acceptable. Now, edibles in Ontario, uh, won't be sold in the CB cannabis. Well, LCBO for cannabis. I should probably know this, but I completely forgot the acronym. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, yeah, but uh, I, I think it's still not pretty like nailed right on. Like it's not. It's still something floating around. I think. There, like there, on Quebec, we don't have like the full details so far. On Ontario, we've had a lot more details. There was a plan that was enacted, and uh, Vice did a couple of different articles on how they were going to uh, take care of all of this. Naturally, okay. in Ontario, the LCBO is taking care of it, but they're creating a separate uh, organization, separate building where the stuff will be sold out of. Which is why when I heard about cannabis and beer, uh, I was kind of surprised. We've seen hemp in the past. Hemp has been used yep. quite a lot. Uh, and there's actually a study uh, that it was given $300,000 from the Ontario government to, to study uh, cannabis and beer. And we're precisely replacing the malts with 100% hemp. Which is interesting, because yep. as you know, as we've been talking the last couple of weeks, uh, the way you make beer is with, uh, with malt, and you extract the, the sugars, and that's what's going to be fermented by your yeast. Now, if you're going 100% uh, cannabis, 100% hemp, a lot of protein, a lot of protein shakes that's done with that, but I'm not sure about the sugar content and what it would actually yeah. give flavor-wise to your beer. Um, yeah, so uh, interesting what's going on with that in Canada and elsewhere, but how was it made? How is it possible? Um, it's literally, there's not a lot of liter lit literature uh, out there, <laughs> like homebrewers tried it all, um, some breweries in Colorado, like you said, used weed in their beers, but from what I've read and from what I've seen online is that you need to build your beer according to the type of weed, weed you're going to use. So. I'm not a, a, a weed uh, consumer. I mostly drink beer, but I heard that like weed has different flavors, just as beer has different flavors. So you need to pair the proper strain of weed with uh, the style of beer you want to aim for. But I've heard if you want something a little bit more tasty that uh, will complement the flavors of the weed used in the beer, uh, pairing it with the style of IPA is a good way to start because you will get uh, most hops, which are like a sister to the the wheat plant, um, together. So you get similar flavors that's gonna pair well together in the end. But like we always say on the show, this is not where creativity stops. This is where it grows. So I'm looking forward for like weed saisons or uh, wheat uh, wheat stouts or all that stuff. But 
when you do brew with uh, with beer usually you can use it in your bowl the same way you use hops but also you can opt for uh, a, a literally dry hop with your weeds uh, but it's still not uh, been used a lot so there's not a lot of ways to know which is uh, the best to get the most out of the weed you used in your beer so Max, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think THC is also something that you might lose in fermentation process. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so in weed, uh, you basically have two active ingredients that people are looking for, uh, both medical and for enjoyment. So your THC is your psychoactive uh, yeah. in, in the weed. Now, different strains will have a different amount of THC in it. Now, you've got a second thing as well, which is called CBD or uh, can it to, to cannabidi, can, cannabidi oil, which is uh, the, the, the other part that's not psychoactive. In fact, uh, it, it counteracts in the sense that it, it takes away from the psychoactivity of the, uh, the strain. Okay. Um, now, CBD, what's very interesting is it's, it's used as an anti-inflammatory like hops. Uh, okay. It's also used uh, as a anti, uh, anti-anxiety. It's also used to uh, prevent seizures. Now, it's used for a, a myriad of things. I mean, a lot of people uh, on the medical side have been using CBD extracts for a while now with a lot of very good results. Okay. Um, uh, as you mentioned earlier, the hop plant and the cannabis plant are very, or even the hemp, very, very closely, um, uh, they're cousins, cousin yeah. plants. So you would probably use the, the, the cannabis, your hemp, the same way you would use your hops. And yes, you would have different flavors in it naturally uh, because a lot of the essential oils that you have on your hops, you also have on, on your hemp, on your cannabis. So you would get similar flavors in some ways. Now to extract your CBD and your THC, Usually you have to boil it a bit, but that's the thing is when do you add it in? Cause you overboil it and you boil off all your THC. You underboil it by adding it a dry hop and you virtually don't extract any or a very small amount because you do have to activate uh, okay. those, 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 I guess, I'm not sure those oils in the cannabis. I, I think it's the way to pronounce it. Like it's oils early, but it works the same way as hops. And uh, so from the recipe I've read, so I correct me if I'm wrong, but the guy uh, home brewed with weed and he compares a 12 ounce bottle consumption of that beer <coughs> to a really strong, like a strong brownie. And mm -hmm. effects could last up to 12 hours drinking this and beer just like uh, with edibles so edibles versus smoke in it is a different part of your body that's going to um, digest it so when you eat it it passes through your liver and releases another chemical that's going to give you a different kind of high than if you smoke it uh, so that's one thing I'd say if you do successfully brew a beer with cannabis uh, make sure you have nothing planned for the weekend yeah just <laughs> Just that. <laughs> yeah, just do and this. If the effects don't uh, appear immediately, don't grab a second beer. Grab something don't else. Do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I not talking by experience. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I I I think I remember one of my birthdays turned out that way. Do you? Uh, allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Um, but also, I want to add up. There's a a big uh, <coughs> like alcohol business or brewing business in Toronto. I don't have the proper name. I think it's uh, Grants uh, something um, that got a big grant from uh, the Ontario government, like you said, to produce uh, with amp. 100% their beers. Is it the guys? Uh, I think Tragically Hip is behind them, if I'm not mistaken. Tragically Hip has a lot of stakes in one of those big cannabis companies in Ontario. Okay. Which I thought was really interesting. Uh, yeah, I think it's that one. Yeah, because they got a really cool scientific process um, behind the transformation of not the weed itself, but the plant itself. So once you do your, uh, like, you cut off the buds and you use them for uh, consumption, then you throw out the rest of the plant. But they, they, they figure out, uh, like, a, a process to take those plants and brew beer with it without the uh, weed part of the plant. So just amp at this end. So it's really interesting how, like, the industry tried to just grab their hands on a, 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 such a fantastic plant. Like, it's a good move to have this legalized because I think it's going to push the usage of amp 
um, a lot more forward. So those are like a few examples. I think in Ontario, uh, the Buzz beer is a hemp beer. Yeah. Um, but there's also on the side, on the Quebec side, Dieu du Ciel does one called La Fumisterie. I'm not sure if it's still available. It's one beer that they have like some seasonal varieties on it and it's not always there. Like some people like it, some people don't like it. So it's a hard way to see where it's going, but I think it's a good time to start the conversation since it's getting legalized in the next few months. I, I've had the Buzz uh, beer and it's actually pretty good. Okay. Uh, very herbal, very uh, very floral, a little more spicy as well. Very interesting beer for sure. And I think okay. the fact that it's going to be legal in, in Ontario and Canada in general means that there's not going to be that... Um, People are going to see the plant as being a plant and not yeah. a legal substance. So you're going to see a lot more things made with hemp, which is a very good thing. But don't yeah. buy hemp underwear. Trust me on that. It's it's not worth it. Very itchy. Not good. Not good at all. <laughs> this video is sponsored by. Please insert a nice boxer brand that might want us to <laughs> to be sponsored. No, all right, no sponsorship. Sorry. I yeah, yeah. Say I, I, I don't want nice to say. Have. Yeah, everyone knows them, but I'm not sure if they want to sponsor us, right? I don't know. I mean, if they do, the door is open, and we'll tag in the video, see what they think. Yeah, uh, of if course. you like the video, <laughs> please leave a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Share with me undies to see if they are willing to sponsor yeah. the show. And, exactly. Uh, or just spam the spam the you know the the special code box <laughs> with Ops and Bros. Just spam yes, it. Yes, yes. Try yeah. it out. See it what is. happens. <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh, you guys, be careful with weed. It's coming up. Uh, keep an eye on it. Know your shit. It's really important. And like Matt said, uh, we'll see you in the next video.